Now this is a whirlwind tour, literally, as the brand new Secretary General of NATO takes a tour of what he's calling an Afghanistan success story, the village of Daybar. It may not look like much, but what's going on here could be Afghanistan's best chance yet to rebuild and defeat the Taliban. It's a Canadian plan pushed forward by Canadian Brigadier General John Vance. He spent months meeting with local leaders, mostly farmers, in near total secrecy. He gives me a call, I'll give him some steak. <laughs> he asked the village elders one simple question. What do you need, really need, to start over? Security was key, so Canadian forces chased the Taliban away and protect the village still. They also needed irrigation, mosques, even solar-powered streetlights. Canadian officials agreed. A turning point that isn't costing millions. So far, Canada has spent a few thousand, hiring the people who live here to do the work, paying them about $10 a day. That means these men work for the village instead of the Taliban. They say they love Canadians. They say they will stay here and work. This is our land. This is our country, says District Leader Amadullah Nazak. I will defend this land. It belongs to me. This is exactly the approach we will pursue uh, in the coming years. Doing a little arm twisting in front of the cameras, the NATO leader said Canada might want to reconsider pulling its fighting forces out in 2011. But seen from an alliance point of view, I would strongly regret uh, if that became uh, the uh, the final outcome of uh, the Canadian considerations. We cannot allow Afghanistan once again to become a safe haven uh, for uh, terrorists. And I also think it is in Canada's interest to ensure a peaceful and stable uh, Afghanistan. Canada's commander in Afghanistan doesn't seem all that opposed to the idea of staying longer. Uh, there is a uh, thing that happens to you when you come to Afghanistan uh, where you see the potential. Um, I would like the international community to stay and finish this. Uh, it, I believe that this is uh, an important uh, undertaking. If Canada was to stay, uh, I'd be more than happy to serve again. But the people who would be doing the asking were quick with an answer today. From the Defence Minister's office, a written statement saying both Peter McKay and Stephen Harper have been clear. 2011 will be the end of our military mission. And so the idea of jump-starting the country one village at a time could become Canada's lasting legacy in Afghanistan. The Secretary General spent little more than an hour here, but long enough to make it clear that this tiny Canadian initiative started in a small community is something he'd like to see go big all across this country. James Marie, CBC News, Deba, Afghanistan.